This is my rundown of Lay's New York style, Grimaldi's influenced pizza flavored potato chips. First things first, let's get a little lay of the land and a rundown of what's going on on the back. So this is one of their flavor icons. I guess that means that they have potato chips with all these different flavors related to like important influential restaurants. I think I remember a Lou Malnati's pizza chip happening. Maybe there was like blowback that like, hey, why'd you skip New York? Why'd you just do Chicago? Before I give you my rundown of what's going on inside the bag, let's talk about what's going on in the bag itself. So this is a Grimaldi's influenced chip. There's a pizzeria that opened up in 1990 under the Brooklyn Bridge, and that place was called Patsy's. It was opened by a guy named Patsy Grimaldi, who is the nephew of Patsy Lancieri, who started the Patsy's restaurant up in East Harlem in the early 1940s. A few years later, the people who franchised the Patsy's restaurant from East Harlem asked Patsy Grimaldi to change the name of his restaurant, which he did. And in 1995, he changed it from Patsy's to Grimaldi's. You should understand, though, that the pizza that they make is a classic coal-fired New York pizza. So when I noticed that the Grimaldi's flavor chips were labeled New York-style pizza, I thought that was pretty interesting. Because when I think of New York-style pizza, I actually think about the low-moisture mozzarella pizza that's kind of like big, greasy, cheesy, served on a paper plate, the New York Slice. So when I think New York style, I think the New York slice. I actually don't think of places like Grimaldi's and Giuliana's and John's on Bleecker Street, Lombardi's, Totono's, Patsy's in Harlem. I actually don't think of those quite as much as I think of a place like Joe's. Joe's is a straight up New York slice. Grimaldi's does not sell pizza by the slice. So I found it kind of interesting that they call it New York style, Grimaldi's is absolutely a New York pizzeria, but I don't consider it to be the definitive go-to New York style by name. Grimaldi's is a significant pizzeria because when it opened in 1990, then called Patsy's, it did inspire a huge resurgence of coal-fired pizzerias, which brought back the sort of original classic pizza of New York City. So this is the pizza that they chose for the bag, which is not a picture of Grimaldi's pizza. How do we know? Grimaldi's puts their mozzarella on first and their sauce on last. This is a photo of a pizza that was sauce first, cheese last. Is that gonna ruin my enjoyment of the chip? Hopefully not. I do wish they would have just used a picture of the actual pizza, because I think it looks better than this. Anyway, that's one issue I have over here. Beyond that, I'm actually kind of surprised that they went with this weird green swirly background, like that they couldn't do a, you know, the red and white checker tablecloth common pizza motif. I think I'm ready to pop it open and uh, find out what they taste like. It doesn't smell like the inside of Grimaldi's. I'm actually surprised. Usually when snack foods are pizza flavored, they usually just smell like oregano and garlic. It just smells like potato chip to me. I know Grimaldi's fragrance very well. Every pizzeria has a distinctive aroma. And I'm absolutely guaranteed that if you blindfolded me and took me to Grimaldi's, I would tell you that I'm at Grimaldi's. I know the smell, I know it very well. These chips don't smell like that. And I know the taste of Grimaldi's. I mean, look, it's an Italian tomato. It's a relatively short fermentation dough. It's fresh mozzarella, it's fresh basil. I mean, the ingredients on there aren't that crazy, but there's still a distinct taste to it. These chips don't have that taste at all. I wouldn't even call it a pizza flavor. I honestly feel like if you told me that these chips were either pizza flavored, barbecue flavored, or like pretzel flavored, I'd probably tell you that they were barbecue flavored. Very mild barbecue. I'm really, I'm not getting anything pizza from this. I'll tell you one thing. They have great crunch to these. I guess that's because they're the kettle cooked. Is that like the potato chip equivalent to coal fired oven? My conclusion here is that these Grimaldi's flavored chips, while deliciously crunchy and they taste fine, they don't taste anything like Grimaldi's pizza. 
So if you're longing for that time that you had Grimaldi's, whether it's the original location in Brooklyn or it's one of their other like 30 or 40 locations around the rest of the country, these chips are not gonna scratch that itch. Even the picture is not gonna scratch the itch. It's not a picture of Grimaldi's pizza. I'm still gonna eat the whole bag. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Follow the channel for other pizza-related content.